Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Python's Realm Let's Play of Awesomeness. Guys, can I just start off this episode by saying a massive, massive thank you to everyone who was super supportive in the last episode when I was talking about, you know, the state of Terraria, the future of Terraria content on this channel. You guys absolutely blew all of my expectations out of the water and I was expecting a ton of backlash because I realized that some people really really like Terraria to the point where they think that the creator of the content should do it all the time but uh, in actual fact pretty much all of you were really super supportive so thank you so so much I feel really really amazing and you guys uh, like you don't know how much I appreciate it. you really really don't so thank you very much but guys today's fan art comes from a user by the name of Jason Felix he decided to go ahead and draw out me as the king of the bees versus Skeletron as in back uh you know a while ago now a while ago uh I am still showcasing fan art of the you know lord of the bees king of the bees things because uh, most of the fan art that comes through related to it it's absolutely amazing so Jason Felix thank you very much it's an excellent piece of fan art obviously Guys, you could send in your fan out in the description box. There's details there, and also on screen. Apparently, I don't even know how to do my own intro anymore. But anyways, guys, today we are going to be going after Plantera. That is the plan. I've got myself a bunch of stuff going on. I've got Sticky Dynamite, I've got Spelunker, Mining and Builder Potions. And yeah, I really do feel like these two here should absolutely beast Plantera. I do not see a reason why I shouldn't be able to do it first time. If not, then there's something wrong with me. I'm talking of something being wrong with me. I totally could have used my teleport, and I didn't, because I forgot about it. Oh, Python, for goodness sake, what is up with you, man? What is wrong with you? Can you not remember what you built in only the last episode? My God. Anyways. Oh, hey, there's a Plantera ball right there. Holy hell, that's amazing. Okay, any more? You see, in the tiny slither, even in the tiny slither of jungle that I've explored, according to this map, there's still a little, little something, something down there, which is amazing. All right, guys. Oh, there's a life fruit around here somewhere as well. Oh, life fruit. Lifey fruit. Oh, it's over this way somewhere. Lucky doke. Right, it might be time to whip out the old... Ah! Whip out the old Spelunker potion. Maybe we could start by getting ourselves a little bit more health. You know what I'm saying? A little bit more health never hurt anyone. Certainly didn't hurt me. I mean, you know, it's, it's just... You know, it's quite the opposite of being hurt. It's like being healed. It's amazing. It is, guys. It's amazing. Right. I want to try and light up as much of this world as I possibly can, though, just so we can always see what we're doing at all times. That'd be fantastic. But there we go, my friends. Up to 410 health. Very, very nice indeed. And the thing is just over here. Right. Question. Uh, it's not even within, like, a proper cave system either. It's just within, like, a like a little pocket cave type thing. Those things that you never like to see because you kind of expect them to be something amazing when in actual fact, they're kind of not. So, yeah, that's great. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Uh, but guys, as always, if you're excited for the episode, if you want to continue showing your support for the series, it would be super appreciated if you would drop a big fat thumbs up. Honestly, it does mean the world to me, my friends. And, well, it just does. It really, really does. It's the best way to let me know if you want to continue seeing more. Right. Let's make sure we don't accidentally break this plant terrible, because otherwise we could be in for a rough, rough time. Right. Uh, dynamite. Boom. Right. I'm pretty sure that's out of the blast radius of the dynamite. I hope it is. Oh my god. Oh my god, I've just released the flood. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! What am I doing? I'm causing natural disasters. Well, man-made disasters. Oh god! I'm a terrible person, ladies and gentlemen. But, no matter. Hey! You just got absolutely bamboozled, Sonny Jimbo. Right, let's get over here. Uh, I think that's out of the blast radius as well. Let's go over here. Maybe we chuck one down there. Uh, let's go... Maybe we start sort of widening out this area, right? Sounds like a good idea to me. There we go. And could we potentially get one more down here? Let's not die! Oh, jeez, man. That could have gone a lot worse. Oh, God! That really could have gone a lot worse, huh? <laughs> careful, Python, careful. Jeez, man. Are you trying to be an adrenaline junkie? It ain't working out for you, son. No, 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 no. You'll wind up killing yourself. Right. I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put one here. Here. Up here. And maybe over here, here, go up. Oh! No, that guy is, uh, that guy likes me a lot, huh? He really wants me. <laughs> I don't want you, man. I want you to go away. That's what I want you to do. And uh, one there, 
And I don't put one down here because I think it will be within the, the bulb will be within the blast radius. So yeah. What we will do now is we will start sort of hand carving out an arena because that's just kind of what you do with Plantero, isn't it? Uh, a bit of an arena. Nothing too fancy. Just like a big old area with... Oh, no. Good day to you, toxic sludgy. I don't want you here, man. I want you to go away and leave me to it, man. I'm trying to build a freaking arena. These, these guys are just like, no, nah, man. This is my place now. No, sir. No, sir. Get out of here. Go on. All of you. Go on. Every single one of you. So, actually, talking of the hornets and whatnots, one of the things I decided might be a good idea is if we have the medicated bandage on us. The reason being is because it provides immunity to poison. Apparently, Plantera inflicts the poison debuff. So, you know, it just makes sense, doesn't it, to, to be able to, you know, avoid having the damage over time aspect of the fight, right? So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead... And I'm going to start flattening out this area because I don't want it to go too much further down. I would very much like to have just a, a nice flat room which is going to double as an arena. So, yeah. Alright, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and continue on with this. And I shall be back with you guys in just a mo. Party girl has arrived. It's a bit early for that, buddy. You need to at least wait so we can celebrate it properly. Ah, oh, man. I haven't even taken down Plantaria yet. She's already putting the pressure on me, man. Ugh. Celebrations. Too early, man. Too early. I don't even know if we'll be able to take him down yet. Her down. It down. Thing down. I don't know. Let's go, man. <laughs> and get wrecked there, tortoise. Get freaking wrecked. Now, guys, check it out. We've got ourselves a bit of an arena going on here. Not entirely sure if it is big enough, to be honest with you. Uh, my health isn't looking very good either, to be honest. But I think that's because uh, a freaking turtle hit me at some point, which took out like half of my health in one go. Whoa, what? Hang on a minute, when did I get that? I got a jungle key, guys. Which means I have access to the piranha gun if I do decide... Well, do decide. If I do manage to take down Plantera, which, by the way, upon taking down Plantera, we can indeed start opening the biome chests. I think I've made a video on it in the past, but a lot of guys... A lot of you guys seem to think that uh, you could go ahead and open the biome chests, like, as soon as you get the keys. Uh, no, sadly, that isn't the case. You can open them upon defeating Plantera. It's called the biome chest curse. So, yeah, you can't open the biome chests until you have defeated Plantera. I mean, otherwise, you know, you can get keys really early hard mode and you and then straight away you'll have access to stupidly OP weapons, which, you know, takes away from the fun, takes away from the progression of the game. So, yeah, kind of makes sense. But anyways, guys, uh, things are looking good. We are just about back up to full health. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna give this thing a go. Not entirely sure how it's gonna go, but here's hoping that it will be a fruitful endeavor. Good day to you, good sir. No, no, and there's a bunch more in my health gone. Damn it! All right, well, uh, I have to wait again. Yay! I love waiting, man. Let me tell you, I'm trying not to use health potions because otherwise, when I come to the point where I actually need a health potion, you know, during the fight, then I won't have one, and that kind of sucks. So, yeah, I'm just going to wait. We're going to regen a bit, and then we'll go. And, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The only buff we have is pretty much that, so let's get it, and let's go, boys! What do you think? Should we start off with a little bit of this and then go for the old death sickle and try to do the old circle trick? Hmm. Might be an idea. Oh, wow. Okay. That's actually doing a lot more damage than I first thought it would. Huh. Okay. As long as I keep doing the old circle, you know, I could sort of maybe, uh, eh, not really, uh, you know, sort of avoid her projectiles, but actually... When it comes down to it, I'm not really avoiding a projectiles, am I? What about this? Can we get a little bit more damage per set? Nah, I think it's going to be the death sickle, isn't it, guys? It's going to have to be the death sickle. As you guys know, the death sickle is still, even to this day, an amazing weapon. It's one of the earliest weapons in Terraria, and it's fantastic. It is absolutely fantastic weapon. It genuinely, genuinely... Oh, no, that is freaking flying balls everywhere. I'm going to die. I'm going to die immediately. Oh, yep. And there we go. Ah, oh, not enough room. Not enough room. Okay, there's not enough height to the room. I think that's the issue. You see, I can never remember, do I want width or do I want height to a Plantera arena? I can never remember. Maybe it's just both. <laughs> you know, maybe it's just both. Ah, oh, man. Now we're going to have to build an arena somewhere else. Ah, I bet there's no other Plantera bulbs either. We'll actually have to go exploring for it. Man. 
Maybe I made a boo-boo by not taking buffs down. Ah, uh, why do I not have that much defense? Menacing, guarding. I feel like we can get something better than guarding, but then again, I don't have any money, so I can't even do anything. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. Well, that's just killed my vibe. I was all hyped up to try and kill that gal, and we did get quite a fair way for our first try. The old Death Sickle is a fantastic weapon to go for against Plantera Expert Mode, but uh, yeah, her damage will surely kill you in not that long a time. Well, I guess what we could maybe go for in the meantime is we could potentially go for Chlorify Armor. Not Chlorify Armor, but probably even Turtle Armor, right? I mean, that would make sense, wouldn't it? If we go for Turtle Armor, then maybe we could do a better job of surviving. So, why don't we go ahead back over here. Let's check on our supplies. Uh, what have we got? We've got a Crimson Key. Looking good. We've got a nice little supply going on here. Hell yeah, boys. Right, question. Do I have the ability to make Spelunker potions? Yes, I do. How many? Three. Okay, good. That's a good amount. That's a good amount. I'm okay with that. Okay, doke. So, I think what I may do is I'm going to sell this. Sell this. Don't need them. And then we're going to head over to the jungle. We're going to try and, you know, dig up a bunch of chlorophyte. And maybe we can get things going that way. Huh? Sounds like a good idea. Alrighty, guys. So, as I usually do when I begin my first bits of chlorophyte mining, we're going to do one load of Spelunkers worth five minutes worth of mining on camera, and then we'll use the rest of the Spelunker potions off camera to see what kind of supplies we can garner up now. From memory, I know that we need 354 chlorophyte ore if we are wanting to... Good day to you, sir. If we are wanting to go ahead and make ourselves a set of armor. So, that's exactly the amount I want to go for. Well, if not that, then something more. Oh, there is a live fruit over there. Good day to you, sir. I will absolutely go ahead and make my way over to you, because you know, live fruits, I mean, who the hell would miss them? Come on, man. Why would you want to miss one out? That's just crazy talk. Like, eh. there we go. Ah! Wait. Oh, it's still down there. Damn it! I thought I picked it up. Oh, jeez! Good day to you, sirs. All right, there you go. And a life fruit. Thank you very much indeed. Let's get back over here, boys. Uh, I don't feel like we're going to wind up getting many bits of chlorophyte ore on our first go, but you never know. Ah. Dude, go away. I don't want you here, that broski. Go on. Uh, wow, there is not a lot of chlorophyte around. Hey, buddy, can I have that? I would love to have me some of that. Eh. No, I want this. I want this. There you go. 420 health. Yep, you guys know what that means. <laughs> uh, seriously, though, there's not any, like, big veins of chlorophyte so far. And I have been in hard mode for a decent amount of time now. At least I feel like I have. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, here we go. Slightly, slightly larger veins of chlorophyte. Not anything to write home about, but, you know, it's better than nothing, isn't it? Apparently, there is another life route around. Would be awesome to find that. Is it above me? Nope, it must be below me then. Okie okay, McDoke. Oh, light food. Wait, where is it? I don't actually see it. Uh, okay. Uh, have we got like a phantom? Uh, oh, God. Can you like not? Have we got like a phantom? Oh, no, it's over there. A phantom light food. That's just something I've invented right now. Oh, jeez, man. Well, this has turned from a chlorophyte mining session into a let's go ahead and get a bunch of life fruits session. I mean, do you know what? I will still take that any day. I am not heartbroken about that. Can you, like, stop? Like, actually stop. Thank you. For goodness sake. I hate those hornets. They're such a pain. Honestly, such a pain. I hate them so. Why can they not just leave me alone? All I want to do is get on with my life. I just want to play the game. I want to progress through. I don't want to die. No, 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 no. How are we looking? 42. Wow, we have got a lot of chlorophyll on us, my friends. Holy moly. Okay, we've got about a minute left of... No. I'm going to die. Oh, no. Can you stop, please? Thank you. I will take the health. Thank you very much. Right, now, if everybody could, like, bugger off... So I could actually get on with my life. That'd be fantastic. Hey! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let's get down here. Oh, no! There's even more dudes. Okay. Ah! This is just not a good idea, is it? Oh, God. I'm so gonna die. I'm so gonna die. 
There is a moth down there, which I guess is interesting. Not something I see very much, but... Oh, well. Oh, there we go. Hey! Butterfly dust! I am a pretty butterfly. Not really. Uh, stop throwing your freaking body parts at me, sir. That is very disgusting. I should report you to the police for indecent throwing of your body parts at me. Th th that This just turned into a very weird episode. Anyways. <laughs> Let's continue on. I don't even think we're going to get to 100, guys. We've got like 50 seconds left. In fact, less than that now. There are a few more bits over here. Which I guess is okay. I'm not entirely sure if it's going to bring us up to 100. Oh, oh yeah, now we're coming across the bulk of the freaking claw fight. Oh, this game is such a bot sometimes. Oh, right. Oh, there's another life route around somewhere though. Might be a nice idea to go for that. It might also be a nice idea. If we didn't die, please, sir. Uh, really, I don't want to die. Legit. Please. Oh, God. Here he comes. Okay, here we go. Uh, you got the old reliable, right? There you go. There you go. Get destroyed. And we're going to go get this last piece of chlorophyte. And I think that's going to bring us up to over 100 for our first Spelunker potions worth of Spelunking. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. So we pretty much, if we round it up, we got pretty much 100. So not bad. But we're going to need to pick up the pace a little bit with our last two Spelunker potions, right? So, why don't we go ahead and continue mining up, my friends. And we'll see how many we get at the end of the two other Spelunker potions, which is 10 minutes. So, yeah, 10 minutes to try and get another 240 or so. Hey, and how about it, guys? We've got ourselves a tortoise shell out of that. And also, we've just managed to find ourselves a second plantera bulb. It didn't actually take that long as well, which is pretty nice to see. So, oh, ah! No, 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 I ain't dying right now, sir. No, 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 no. This is my last Spelunker potion. I can't just let it go like that. I've let one go already because I kind of died and stuff. Ah! Stop hurting me, damn it! I'm getting tired of being hurt all the time, man. Like, why this? Why can't this game just love me instead? Why can't it just give me cuddles and say that everything in my life is going to be all right? Huh? Instead, it's just like, nah, mate, I'm going to throw it out. Oh! Ah! Okay, that's great. If we haven't got 354 chlorophyte, I'm going to be even more annoyed because trying to find chlorophyte in a natural sense without going ahead and use a Spelunker potion is actually kind of a pain in the butt. We've got 326, not enough. Ah, come on, bro. All right, now we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Gosh darn. Alrighty guys, last few bits of chlorophyte, and I think we're just about there. Yep, there we go, 358 chlorophyte ore is enough. So, let's head back to base and let's get this thing rolling, shall we? So, I think what we need to do is teleport back to our meteor base. Oh, oh, oh if I don't mess up, that is. <laughs> And then let's make ourselves a bunch of chlorophyte bars. It should amount to 54 or 59, apparently. All right. Nice. I mean, no complaints coming from me, you know what I'm saying? Cool. In the meantime, we've got ourselves four life fruits bringing us up to 445 health, which is very nice. And if we head over this side, we can make ourselves a piece of turtle armor straight out of the bat. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know, man. I don't know. Do I want to do that? Do I want to go for turtle armor straight out of the bat? I mean, it's got more defense as far as I know. But then again, enemies are more likely to target you. Uh, I don't know. We'll need to go grinding in the in the jungle, won't we? Which actually, you know, when all things come down to it, that's not actually that bad because uh, turtles seem to spawn quite often at the surface, right? So I don't see a reason why it should be anything other than, you know, pretty easy, right? <laughs> Alright guys, let's go ahead and do that and also, I guess, we'll do the comment question of the video, why not? So here we go folks, the comment question of the video for today comes from Syak Kitten or Kitan. I think it's good to take breaks sometimes. You've played this game so much and have given us so many fun and exciting videos. Thank you, don't feel selfish, you're a great YouTuber. You're of my support, can't wait to see what other great games you play. Hey, I really do appreciate it. That means the world to me. That really, really does. Uh, so other games to come on this channel uh, include Subnautica. We are bringing Subnautica back and it'll be the official release as well. Apparently the official release is like the 23rd or 24th of January 2018. So it's not that far away at this point, my friends. I'm really, really looking forward to getting back into Subnautica again. It'd be nice to have another survival game on this channel aside from Minecraft and Terraria. Obviously Ark. 
was the start of me you know, sort of sprouting out into other survival games. And I've been really, really enjoying it. I really genuinely have. So, yeah, it's going to be awesome, though, to get ourselves, you know, get, get our teeth stuck into another survival game. You know, I think that'd be pretty freaking sweet. So, yeah, but I really do appreciate the comment. And that goes the same for anyone who commented the something along the same lines. It means the world to me. It really, really does. So, guys, thank you very much. And let's get into some turtle farming. We only need two. I only need two. Alrighty, guys. We're just about there with the tortoise or turtle shells. Now, we've got the three of them. We've got the chlorophyte bars. So, you know what time it is, my friends. It is time to make ourselves the turtle armor. Let's get it done, my friends. And there we go. 57 defense going up to 72. An increase of 15. Very, very nice. And check it out. Attackers also take full damage. So, we're like a permanent thorns effect. Very nice. Very nice indeed. The only thing is, uh, my Hallowed Armor actually gives more damage. But then again, you've got to take into consideration the damage that you'll be doing to them every time they hit you, right? So, as a matter of fact, it might counteract that very slightly increase in melee damage quite nicely, you know? I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, guys, I think on that note, I am just about out of time to record today's episode. So, guys, I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, and of course, you're excited for more, do be sure to drop a like rating, of course. Off camera, I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, redo the Plantera Arena. Uh, probably just make a new one, wherever the new bulb is. Ah, maybe not. Or maybe if I do, maybe I stretch it this way because I really do not want to get rid of that mushroom biome, right? So I'll make like a big ass room around this plantera bulb and it will just sort of be around here as opposed to, you know, the mushroom biome because I like mushroom biomes a lot. <laughs> but guys, if you enjoyed the episode, a big fat thumbs up as always. Best way to let me know if you want to continue seeing more and it's a great way to show your support for the series and the channel. Hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. Guys, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode.